Hello everyone. Welcome to Aptitude Jab. This is a set based on a funnel uh, graph. Uh, it says a website offers test series for MB exams and it has a Facebook page where it creates some posts. Okay, and uh, certain people uh, who visited the Facebook page, they visited the site and then from the site, uh, some people took free test, some people, uh, those who took free test purchase mock test and then some people out of them purchase the combo pack, right? So it's a, it's basically a funnel. So what happens in a funnel is this is the largest number. So uh, a lot of people like the Facebook page. Okay, so Facebook page is the largest number and then out of this, so the sub subsequent level is the subset of it. Like uh, all people liking Facebook page, out of those some people visited the website so if like it says a percent so it says it means that a percent of uh, people who like the facebook page vis visited the website similarly b percent of the people who visited the website took free test okay so uh, this uh, percentage is from the previous stage so whatever number of people who took free test 12 percent of them purchase mock tests and a minus five so a is a number that we have to figure out a minus five percent of the people uh, who purchase mock test purchase the combo pack right so it's a funnel so this is the largest number this will be the smallest number so some information is given that nine percent of the users who like the facebook page took the free test okay so nine percent of this took free test so a percent into b percent is equal to nine percent okay a percent of this and b percent of this so a into b is nine percent so that means a into b will be 900 so we will have to find out a and b using the given uh, statements right now the difference between the number of free test takers and those who purchase mock test is 19,800 free test and mock test purchases now this becomes uh, the starting point to solve this problem so let us say if uh, this this number is 100x okay so people purchasing mock test will be 12x so this difference is 88x that is given as 19800 right so let us solve for x so uh, x will be equal to so if you divide by 88 you can divide by 11 because uh, like you can see that it is divisible by 11 so this is 1800 and uh, this will be 8 so 1800 divided by 8 will give us 225 so that means uh, this is 225 so took free test so let us write these stages so first stage is fb right so let us second is website third is free test then mock test purchased and then combo pack so free test the number of people is 22500 okay and 12 percent of this will be mock test purchases 2700 okay so we figure out these numbers uh, now had 7500 more people who liked the facebook page visited the website okay the percentage of web visitors must have been 48 percent right so we do not know the number of website visitors but we are given that if uh, 2500 more people visited uh, visited the website the percentage of web visitors must have been 48 percent right okay so do we know anything out of this uh, yes we know one thing that this is nine percent right so we 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 are given that nine percent of users who like the facebook page took the free test so free test is this so facebook visitors is Two lakh fifty thousand. Okay, so because nine percent of them took the free test. Now we know this thing, and we are given that seventy-five percent, seventy-five hundred more people like the Facebook page visited the website. So we have a percent website visitors. If seventy-five hundred more people, seventy-five hundred of this is one percent is twenty-five hundred. So that means three percent, right? So if this was increased by three percent. 
then web visitors must have been 48%. So 3% increase makes it 48. So that means initially the value of A would be 45%. Right. So A is 45 and B is 20. Okay. So that we will get. So value of A will come as 45. So initially 45% of this visited the website. Okay. So now we can calculate the website visitors. 45 into 25 is... Uh, 1125 and uh, double zeros. So these are website visitors. Okay, then free test, these are mock tests. And now we know the value of A that is 45. So A minus 5 will be 40%. So 40% of this is 1080. So this is how we can calculate all the values that are uh, that can be found out using this graph. Now let us answer the questions. So value of A is 45. What is the difference between the number of website visitors and the number of people who took free test? So website visitors minus free test. So this is 900 and double zero. So 90,000 would be the answer. How many people purchase combo packs? So that is 1080. And what percentage of website visitors purchased mock test? So website visitors are 112500 and mock test purchases are 2700. So 27 by 1125 uh, into 100. Okay, so which comes close to 2.4%. I mean, that must be 2.4% exactly. You do not need to calculate because it obviously looks that it is uh, 2 point something, right? And there is only one option which says uh, 2 point something. So that is, so this is the answer. Okay. So that is the solution to the set and the answers to the questions.